Hello, ASEC students, faculty, and parents, and welcome. Welcome to our 2020 ASEC award ceremony. We're sorry that you cannot be here in person, but we look forward to celebrating with you virtually. Welcome, and thank you for being here. Hi, I'm Mrs. Elaine Monday, and I'm here to give the English 1 and 2 awards today. Before I get started with the actual awards, I'd like to say that I am very proud of all of my students for everything that they have done this year, especially those who have continued to work hard during this remote learning situation that we have gone through during the past several weeks. Thank you for your continued hard work. The first award today goes to Caroline Blount. Caroline is a strong student who makes sure to complete her assignments and to study so she is prepared for quizzes and tests. She is a group leader in class who strives to keep group members focused on the task assigned so that they can diligently accomplish their work. Congratulations, Caroline. The second award goes to Cole Cash. Cole is a very skilled student at analyzing the literature that we read, and he pays attention to details. He is quick to see many sides to a situation and even poses questions to extend his thinking. Many times, he contributes lively conversation about characters and themes discussed in class. Congratulations, Cole. The next student I'd like to recognize is Leslie Gonzalez. Leslie is a dedicated student who seeks to complete her work to the best of her ability every single day. Even though she came to ASEC as a 10th grader, she has quickly adapted to the culture of our school. She comes to class each day with a smile on her face and stays focused on the task assigned. She has shown great leadership qualities in the classroom. Congratulations, Leslie. The next student I'd like to recognize is Kelsey Kaiser. Kelsey has excelled in every assignment that she has completed this year. She has continued to be detailed in her work and takes much pride in all that she accomplishes. Kelsey is also very creative when it comes to producing quality products that assess her learning, whether through writing or another artistic medium. Congratulations, Kelsey. The next student I'd like to recognize is Colby Paget. Colby works hard on his assignments and spends the time studying to achieve his best. Even when he was absent due to surgery and recovery, he communicated with his teachers to make sure that he did not get behind in his work. He is very respectful and kind to his peers. Congratulations, Colby. The next student I'd like to recognize is Caitlin Pierce. Caitlin is a hardworking student who enjoys reading and puts a lot of thought into completing her assignments. She makes sure that she thoroughly answers questions. Congratulations, Caitlin. The next award I would like to recognize here is Liliana Sanchez. Liliana has excelled in the work that I have given this year. She employs neatness and detail in her work, which transfers into all that she does in the classroom. She is quick to ask for clarification on assignments in order to meet expectations. Congratulations, Liliana. The next student I would like to recognize is Meryl Sloan. Meryl is a successful student in completing and applying her best efforts in her assignments. Although she has a quiet personality, her work ethics and motivation show her strengths as a student. Congratulations, Meryl. The next student I'd like to recognize is Gabe Sparks. Gabe is a quiet yet intuitive student in the classroom. Gabe works hard to achieve his best on assignments and is always striving to achieve his potential in all that he attempts. He is polite and respectful to all he encounters. Congratulations, Gabe. The next student I'd like to recognize is Spencer Sundman. Spencer is a respectful, conscientious student who is eager to complete his work according to the expectations given. Spencer strives to produce a high quality of work in each assignment he attempts. He does not hesitate to seek clarity and understanding directions or the lesson material, and even asks for input in products he has already begun. Congratulations, Spencer. Congratulations to all of these students in English 1 and 2 in, in Excellence Awards, 
and congratulations to all my students who have done their very best this year. Thank you. Good afternoon, ASEC Eagles. I would like to announce those that have perfect attendance for this school year. Cullen Allen, Stephen Anderson, Brittany Arbelez, Jackson Bean, Eric Benitez, Caroline Blout, Alex Bolton, Sydney Bradford, Logan Brooks, Madison Brooks, Marcus Brooks, Jonah Dozier, Elisa Estes, Leslie Gonzalez, Milo Goodrich, Carly Gray, Caitlin Hare, Lauren Harris, Keely Hill, Ian Hoots, Madison Hout, Hannah Hout, Gracie Jordan, Michaela Joyce, Kelsey Kaiser, Hannah Lackey, Jacob Lister, Josh Lunsford, Claudia Matthews, Evan Only, CJ Paris, Olivia Parker, Paige Pearson, Danilo Pena, Alexa Rios, Lizbeth Santabanez, Taylor Saunders, Jacob Shook, Solomon Shoemaker, Meryl Sloan, Addie Sloan, Gabriel Sparks, Anson Strange, Hayden Stroud, Jackson Swicegood, Isabella Troutman, Aaliyah Wellman, Noah Whitmire. Congratulations to these folks for having perfect attendance this year and they will be presented with their perfect attendance cards. Thank you. ASEC has many students who have given an enormous contribution to extracurricular activities and athletic teams on our campus, whether it be for ASEC or North Ardell High School. Those contributions are very much appreciated and we want to recognize those students who have gone above and beyond in those areas. We would like to recognize students who have participated in a fine arts class or performance, in JROTC, drill team, or other JROTC related activity, in a fall sports athletic team, a winter sports athletic team, a spring sports athletic team, or any other extracurricular activity on our campus. We want to say thank you. Thank you for being involved. We appreciate each one of you and are so very proud of your accomplishments. Hi there, um, my name is Elizabeth Bright and I am the Math 1 and Math 2 teacher at ASEC. Um, I would just like to take a moment to recognize a few of my outstanding students. I really appreciate all the hard work that all my students have put in this year, um, both in the fall semester and the spring semester. Um, so these students that I'm about to recognize have worked extremely hard and they have the highest overall averages in um, each of their class periods. So I'm going to begin with uh, the fall semester of Math 1 and recognize um, a couple of students from each class period. So from my first block I have Ethan Branch and Leslie Gonzalez. From second block, Kareem Sasa and Brennan Steikleather. Third block, Spencer Sunman and Meryl Sloan. Thank you to all my um, kids who worked so hard fall semester in Math 1, and now I'd like to recognize a few students for Math 2. So from Math 2, uh, fall, uh, spring semester, first block is Kareem Sasa and Kelsey Kaiser. Second block, Jonathan Martinez, Tate Adams, and Cole Cash. And third block, Braden Constantino and Joshua Hyde. Thank you again to all my students. Um, I know these last few weeks have not been easy, but you've all put forth so much hard work and dedication to make it through. Um, I'm so proud of all of you. Um, I really wish that we could have ended the school year together, um, but just know that I'm proud of you all. Um, thank you for everything and love and miss you. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to take a minute to recognize um, a couple of students who have worked extremely hard all year long to create our third edition of the ASEC yearbook. 
Um, so in no particular order, these are my editors and staff members from um, this year. Uh, we have Michaela Joyce, Kylie Miller, Sammy Wall, Brittany Arbelez, Kerrigan Allen, Thomas Mann, Caitlin Lyon, Erica Miller, Angelina Vargas, Brandon Koopman, Dawson Harris, and Hannah Blaise. So thank you to all my staff members who um, put forth so much time and effort to create all the spreads. Um, we are super excited to um, be receiving the yearbook in the next couple of days. Hopefully uh, we will be able to get it out to all of y'all um, very soon. Um, thanks for everything. Thanks for all your um, appreciation and we can't wait for y'all to see it. Thanks. Hello Eagles, this is Mrs. Snyder, your early college liaison. I have one award that I'll be giving to three students, and it is the Most Matured Student Award. So uh, over this year, I have noticed three particular students that have really matured um, as far as how they handle themselves, um, when they communicate with me and their instructors, and how they make decisions uh, about their academic progress, and future, and really just being more thoughtful in, in how they're thinking about themselves and their future in their education and their career. So the first student is Claudia Matthews. Claudia is a super senior, um, and she is attending UNCG this fall. Uh, very proud of Claudia and in, in how far she's come with her decision making, her maturity um, as a student and she's really grown and put forth the effort that is needed to be successful. The next student I would like to recognize is Chloe Lockman. Chloe is aspiring to be a nurse, and I've definitely noticed this year that she has become more serious about her academics and uh, the way she thinks about them and approaches what she needs to do to really be successful as she moves forward. And so I would definitely like to recognize Chloe um, as uh, she pushes forward to, to achieving her goal of becoming a nurse. And the third student I would like to recognize is Erickson Whitson. So Erickson, I've noticed um, definitely in his communicating with myself and his instructors and kind of planning for his next steps um, in wanting to go into business and real estate, that he's, he's definitely putting more thought into it and he's becoming more serious about his goals. And so these are three students that I really wanted to recognize with the Most Matured Student Award. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Hello, I am Chase Tuttle, math teacher here at ASEC. It is my privilege to announce the rest of the math awards for this year. When it comes to my class, my students will always say that they are forced to work very hard. They may complain about the homework, the studying, and the tests, but they gain a lot of knowledge in the process. The hard work I see them put in is astounding. It's this hard work and the perseverance that assures me they will be successful in their future courses. As I was putting together the Math Excellence Awards this year, I tried to calculate the top 10% in each of my classes. In Math 3, the grades were so close and resulted in a lot of ties that they are a little bit more than 10%. To start, here are the awards for academic excellence in Math 3. Kerrigan Allen, Lillian Barnard, Logan Brooks, Zach Compton, Haley Gibson, Isabella Kaiser, Brandon Koopman, Hannah Lackey, Caitlin Lyon, Jacob Shook, Noah Smith, Anson Strange, and Mackenzie Weideman. Now we transition into the second semester, and January started off great like any other normal year. My students entered their final high school math course. The bar is set high for these students because this is traditionally a senior level math class and I maintain these high expectations. This year, however, a wrench was thrown into the mix and remote learning happened. 
Despite this, these students have continued to learn and grow in their mathematics understanding. I have watched them dive into trigonometry, trig identities, triangles, and probability. Here are the awards for academic excellence in advanced functions and modeling. Xavier Grimble, Isabella Kaiser, and Lily Ward. Here are the awards for academic excellence in pre-calculus. Kerrigan Allen, Lillian Barnard, Haley Gibson, Chase Constam, Brandon Koopman, Hannah Lackey, Anson Strange, and Hannah Velez. Thank you to all of my students. You've worked really hard this year and I'm very proud of you. I know that you'll do great in all of your college math courses next year. Hi, this is Ms. Shadroy with my first awards to give out at ASEC. Um, most of you know that I'm a new teacher here at ASEC and it's been a, a beautiful year. It's been a, a year that I've been blessed and thankful for all my great students that I have. I'm so thankful for each of my students. Um, each of the students brought a really unique and special gift or talent or personality to the classroom. And for that, I'm, I'm truly thankful. It's been a pleasure to teach all of the students and I've had about 115 different students this year. So it's been a really pleasure to teach all of you guys out there. I really have enjoyed having you in my class. Um, I like to start off with the awards with something that's very dear to my heart and that's a most improved award. I'm going to give four most improved awards and this goes through all the whole year, um, different classes. So I'm going to give an Earth Environmental two most improved awards and the first one goes to a um, young lady in first semester Earth Environmental Science who really worked hard and did her best no matter what assignment she was given she tried hard and throughout the semester throughout that course she really showed a great deal of improvement congratulations Allie Musaw most improved in Earth Environmental Science the next Earth Environmental Science most improved goes to a young man who also started off his um, semester um, with just trying to get the feel of the class but throughout the semester and throughout the even the time that we've been online he has been really awesome and in, in getting his work done and improving and always making sure that he had it right and congratulations to most improved earth, earth and environmental science Brett Montross congratulations another award goes to uh, most improved uh, again it goes to a young man and um, this young man also had the highest North Carolina final exam in Earth and Environmental Science. Congratulations, Luke Jones. You did awesome this year in my class, and I really enjoyed having you. And finally, the Most Improved in Biology Award goes to a young lady who always tried her best. She always came to me. She was always asking, um, you know, probing questions, trying to make sure she understood. And that award goes to Mayana Webb. You have done awesome through this online instruction and you have just pulled your grade up. And I'm very proud of you and proud of all of you who have really greatly improved this year in my class. The next award is an environmental impact award. And I really thought about this award and, and thought about someone who came to me one day and said, you know, Ms. Shadowy, I've been thinking a lot about what you're saying in class and I think I'd like to make some changes at home. And, and, and this whole sustainability that we've been talking about in class, it's really affected me. And I would like to give this environmental impact award to someone who actually went out and made a change in their own home based on what she learned in class. And Priscilla Leon, congratulations on the environmental impact award. You're awesome and I enjoy having you in my class as well. The next um, a couple awards are going to go to the most dedicated students and these students no matter what's given them, no matter what student they're paired with, no matter what assignment they're given, it's 120%. Uh, there's no stone left unturned with these two ladies. And uh, the first one goes to Lauren Harris, uh, most dedicated student in biology of the year. And the second one goes to Leslie Gonzalez, most dedicated earth environmental student this year. Congratulations ladies. Again, you are your pleasure to teach and have in class. 
I'm really going to miss all of you next year. Hopefully you'll have me again. Uh, and the last, um, a couple awards that I would like to give. Um, one of the awards that I've really been thinking about is my Class of the Year award. Sometimes you have classes where you just have this special connection and there, this class went above and beyond in cooperation with each other, um, cooperation with me. They had a love for learning. They enjoyed their labs. They were respectful and just responsible as a whole class. And they were fun to be around and, and I enjoyed this class so much. And I would like to congratulate class of the year, biology second semester, and you know who you are. And I appreciate you guys so much, even through the online learning. Um, it's been a really joy and pleasure to teach you. And finally, I would like to thank all the parents out there, especially the last nine weeks. And I know I'm a parent. I have two kids, one's in high school and one's in elementary school. So I know the struggle that you've been going through. And I know some days are, are great and some days are just uh, just hard. And so as a parent, I would like to give a Parent of the Year Award. And this was a parent who went above and beyond just communicating with me, reaching out, um, really trying to make sure that um, she was there to support her child. And I know all of you are there to support your children, but I would just like to give a parent of the year award to Teresa Cummings. I really appreciate you and appreciate the hard work you've done and um, I'm just so appreciative to all the parents out there. Again, I want to thank all my students um, for the year for, for just just letting me have a great year and a great first year at ASEG. Uh, you guys are truly uh, awesome and I'm so blessed to be teaching at this school and I appreciate all of you. Hello, I am Ms. Jarbo and I teach science at ASIC. Today I will present awards for my science classes followed by Beta Club Awards. First off, so many of my students worked extremely hard during both semesters this year to achieve greatness in my science classes. I've also truly imp been impressed with how my students transitioned so well to virtual learning in the last week, so I want to make sure that they know that. These students worked diligently this year to succeed in biology. They not only completed assignments on time and to the best of their ability, but in many cases went above and beyond what was expected. The Academic Excellence in Biology Award goes to Brandon Koopman, Mackenzie Weiderman, Marcus Brooks, Erica Miller, Josh Lunsford, Haley Gibson, and Hannah Lackey. Next, chemistry is a challenging class that requires a great deal of time and commitment. These students put in the time needed to understand and master the concepts of chemistry. The Academic Excellence in Chemistry Award goes to Tori Ferguson, Samantha Wall, Brittany Arbelez, Lauren Harris, McKenna Bell, and Jacob Sowers. Next, this award is typically given to one or two students who excelled well beyond expectations in chemistry. However, there were actually four students who finished their semester in chemistry with a near perfect score. In addition to that, each of these students were willing to help each other um, and other students in understanding the material to help them be successful as well. The In Her Element Chemistry Award goes to Kylie Miller, Erin Milligan, Erica Miller, and Michaela Joyce. These two students work to be successful and achieve excellence in their work at all times in science. The Commitment to Excellence in Science Award goes to Jamil Lawson and Lily Warren. These two students overcame various obstacles that arose throughout their time in science this year. They persevered through these obstacles, maintained their work, and even excelled in certain areas despite them. The Outstanding Perseverance in Science Award goes to Caitlin Jenkins and Mayona Webb. That concludes the Science Awards, and next I will move on to the Beta Club Awards for this school year. Our students did an amazing job this year of participating in different events and projects to help our school and our community. We had multiple projects planned for the spring semester that we were not able uh, to complete. However, I want to thank each of our members who attended meetings and put in the time and hard work to plan and prepare for those activities we were going to carry out and the ones we were able to do. Hopefully we will be able to move some of those to future dates. 
our four beta officers traveled to the local leadership summit in Concord, North Carolina back in October. While there, they competed and qualified to compete nationally in the Lead Outside the Box competition. By attending this conference, ASEC Beta Club also became known as an outstanding leadership school. These four officers included President Hannah Haupt, Vice President Tori Ferguson, Secretary Kylie Miller, and Treasurer Talia Parker. Thank you guys for all your hard work. These beta members went above and beyond in completing beta club service hours this school year. Not only did they complete well above the amount of hours needed, but they also present themselves with a heart of service, willing to help others in any situation that may arise. The Beta Club Heart of Service Award goes to Erica Miller and Brittany Arbeles. I would now like to announce our elected 2020-2021 ASIC Beta Club leadership that will be in place in August. President Talia Parker, Vice President Kylie Miller, Secretary Dawson Harris, and Treasurer Marissa Rawlings. In addition to this, we will also have various committees that assist our officers in planning and other responsibilities. The committee members who will hold these positions are as follows. McKenna Bell, Carly Dowdle, Tierra Byerly, Caitlin Jenkins, Sammy Wall, Lily Warren, Brittany Arbelez, and Isabella Kaiser. Congratulations to all of you. Lastly, we have four graduating students who will be graduating with Beta Honors. These students remained active members of Beta Club through their graduating year. They maintained the needed GPA and completed required service hours. The Beta Honors will be awarded to Eric Benitez, Natasha Guo, Keely Hill, Hannah Haupt. Congratulations to all of these students. Good afternoon, ASEC Eagles. My name is Mrs. Cheryl and I am the counselor and I have the privilege today of telling you all of our amazing students who have made the honor roll and the dean's list. As is customary when we have our awards day, the current spring semester grades are not finalized. So for this current semester, we don't have the information to include that. So in our awards day ceremony, we always acknowledge the students from the previous two semesters that have made honor roll and dean's list. So I will start with students who made honor roll and we will go back two semesters. So we will start with students who made the honor roll in the spring or second semester of the 18-19 school year, spring of 2019. Those students who made all A's and B's in all high school and college classes for spring of 19 include Kerrigan Allen, Colin Allen, Caitlin Anderson, Luke Baldwin, Mercedes Barker, Lillian Bernard, Jackson Bean, McKenna Bell, Sydney Bradford, Logan Brooks, Madison Brooks, Marcus Brooks, Tierra Byerly, Andy Cochran, Zach Compton, Noel Crabtree, Carly Dowdle, Jonah Dozier, Tori Ferguson, Haley Gibson, Carly Gray, Xavier Grimble, Natasha Guo, Caitlin Hare, Dawson Harris, Sydney Hart, Kylie Hemrick, Holly Holbrook, Ian Hoots, Hannah Haup, Caitlin Jenkins, Isaiah Jones, Michaela Joyce, Isabella Kaiser, Chase Konstam, Brandon Koopman, Hannah Lackey, Jamil Lawson, Jacob Lister, Caitlin Lyon, Thomas Mann, Haley Mason, Erica Miller, Kylie Miller, Jennifer Mojica, Tara Murphy, Elizabeth Ocampo, Paige Pearson, Jacob Shook, Isaac Shoemaker, Noah Smith, Daniel Sowers, Jacob Sowers, Anson Strange, Chloe Sundman, Jackson Swicegood, Hannah Velez, Lily Warren, Mackenzie Weiderman, Erickson Whitson, and Bentley Whitson. Congratulations. The following are students who received all A's and B's in high school and college courses in fall of 19. Kerrigan Allen, Cullen Allen, 
Brittany Arbelez, Luke Baldwin, Mercedes Barker, Lillian Bernard, Jackson Bean, McKenna Bell, Eric Benitez, Caroline Blount, Alex Bolton, Sydney Bradford, Logan Brooks, Madison Brooks, Marcus Brooks, Tierra Byerly, Zach Compton, Noel Crabtree, Carly Dowdle, Tori Ferguson, Haley Gibson, Leslie Gonzalez, Carly Gray, Xavier Grimble, Caitlin Hare, Dawson Harris, Lauren Harris, Holly Holbrook, Ian Hoots, Hannah Haup, Caitlin Jenkins, Cole Johnson, Isaiah Jones, Luke Jones, Michaela Joyce, Isabella Kaiser, Kelsey Kaiser, Chase Conestan, Brandon Koopman, Hannah Lackey, Brooklyn Lawson, Chloe Lockman, Caitlin Lyon, Jonathan Martinez, Haley Mason, Erica Miller, Kylie Miller, Aaron Milligan, Jennifer Mojica, Jackson Morrison, Hosanna Murph, Tara Murphy, Colby Paget, Caitlin Pierce, Danilo Pina, Liliana Sanchez, Jacob Shook, Isaac Shoemaker, Madeline Sigmund, Daniel Sowers, Gabe Sparks, Brennan Steikleather, Sarah Stramecki, Anson Strange, Hayden Stroud, Chloe Sundman, Spencer Sundman, Jackson Swicegood, Samantha Wall, Lily Warren, Mackenzie Weiderman, Erickson Whitson, Bentley Whitson, Katie Wilson, and Noah Wittenmeyer. Congratulations to all of those ASEC Eagles for making the honor roll for the previous two semesters. Now I would like to announce the students who for the previous two semesters have made the Dean's List at Mitchell Community College. Keep in mind, in order to be on the Mitchell Dean's List, students must be enrolled in at least six credit hours and earn a 3.5 GPA or higher with no grade below a C. Many freshmen had 3.5 GPAs, but they are not eligible for Dean's List because they are not enrolled in at least six credit hours per semester. Dean's List at Mitchell Community College for spring of 19, Marcus Brooks, Tierra Byerly, Cece Cartella Ramirez, Tori Ferguson, Natasha Guo, Hannah Haup, and Paige Pearson. Congratulations to those students. The following students were Mitchell Community College Dean's List students for fall of 19. Kerrigan Allen, Colin Allen, Raul Andrade, Luke Baldwin, Mercedes Barker, Lillian Bernard, Kaylee Barnes, Jackson Bean, McKenna Bell, Eric Benitez, Sydney Bradford, Marcus Brooks, Logan Brooks, Madison Brooks, Tierra Byerly, Destiny Chambers, Andy Cochran, Zach Compton, Noel Crabtree, Carly Dowdle, Tori Ferguson, Haley Gibson, Carly Gray, Xavier Grimble, Caitlin Hare, Lauren Harris, Dawson Harris, Ian Hoots, Hannah Haup, Caitlin Jenkins, Isaiah Jones, Michaela Joyce, Chase Conestam, Brandon Koopman, Hannah Lackey, Priscilla Leon, Chloe Lockman, Josh Lunsford, Caitlin Lyon, Haley Mason, Erica Miller, Kylie Miller, Aaron Milligan, Hosanna Murph, Tara Murphy, Elizabeth Ocampo, Philip Pearson, Jacob Shook, Noah Smith, Daniel Sowers, Sarah Stramecki, Anson Strange, Jackson Swicegood, Angelina Vargas, Hannah Velez, Lily Warren, Mackenzie Weiderman, and Aliyah Wellman. Congratulations to all of those students for achieving Mitchell Dean's List for the last two semesters. And finally, I believe all of you know that we were very excited and still are very excited about our first graduating class at ASEC, the class of 2020. And while we know this year has not gone exactly like we had all anticipated, we have 13 amazing young folks who are going to be graduating from ASEC this year. With that said, 
we also, even with 13 graduates, we will have a top 10% as honor graduates, which include two honor graduates for this year. Honor graduates for the class of 2020 are Hannah Haup and Eric Benitez. Congratulations. We also have two of our class of 2020 who have met all of the requirements to be considered North Carolina academic scholars. Those two North Carolina academic scholars are Eric Benitez and Hannah Haup. We also, for this class graduating and going forward, will have junior marshals for our graduating class each year. That will be the top 10% of our junior class. This year, we have 54 juniors, so top 10% will be six junior marshals. The top six juniors in the class, top 10% junior marshals are Marcus Brooks, Jackson Swisegood, Ian Hoots, Erica Miller, Haley Mason, and Tori Ferguson. Congratulations to all of our students and congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello, my fellow Eagles, Mr. Phillips here. So, I hope you all are doing well at home, quarantining, staying safe, um, and doing your social distancing. Uh, just know that I miss being in a class with you, acting goofy, and doing all the crazy stuff that I do. Um, I hate that our school year was cut short, like especially for the uh, the second semester kids. Man, you 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 missed out on some some cool projects, but that's okay because um, I'm sure that some of you will have me for American too. Um, so I was asked to do some awards uh, for civics. Now I didn't do any American two awards because it it got shut down prematurely. We didn't get to do the projects that I wanted. But let's get right into it. So, for highest average for civics, I am going with Michaela Joyce and Erica Miller. Both of these young ladies had like 99 averages. Um, they did great work. They turned work in on time. They were just spectacular uh, with their work. And they got the highest averages. So, I had to commend them for their superb um academic achievement on that note the next one i have is best projects now for civics um we did some cool projects the second semester kids unfortunately you did not get to do those projects that i had uh in store for you but um uh, these group of kids right here nevertheless were awesome with their projects we have jonah dozier uh captain flores and chance hatch um if you've seen their video, it was awesome. Um, I mean, it, it deserved all the accolades that um, I'm thrusting upon them. All right. And my most improved goes to Dakota Nanny. Now, Dakota Nanny, um, the guy put forth so much effort from first nine weeks to the second nine weeks. And I want to commend him for just doing, for, for never giving up, asking great questions, all the time and just ultimately just putting forth the best effort every day um, I want to thank everybody for making my first year at ASIC a success I've enjoyed it I have uh, have some really good students and uh, coming from the middle school to an early college is a uh, is a huge difference but uh, my teaching has remained the same. I put forward the effort and the kids give it back to me. So I am blessed to uh, be in the ASIC uh, family. And I look forward to um, more lasting relationships. Um, you take care of yourselves. I will see you very soon. All right. Hi, this is Ms. Welch. I'm here with the awards for history. I have two categories, outstanding achievement in history and most improved. So I'm gonna start out with the outstanding achievement in history from first semester. Um, so the awards for outstanding achievement in history go to Colby Paget, Maddie Sigmund, Kylie Miller, Leslie Gonzalez, 
Jonathan Martinez, Angelina Vargas, Hannah Haup, Kelsey Kaiser, Tierra Byerly, Caitlin Pierce, Sammy Wall, Haley Mason, Cole Cash, and Liliana Sanchez. Outstanding achievement in history for second semester goes to Spencer Sunman, Holly Hallbrook, Aaron Milligan, Lauren Harris, Daniel Sowers, Tori Ferguson, Erica Miller, Brittany Arbelez, Carolyn Blount, Destiny Chambers, Cole Johnson, Lillian Bernard, Brooklyn Lawson, Aiden Myers, Katie Wilson, and Peyton Wood. Yay! So moving on to most improved, um, these students really impressed me with how much they were able to raise their grade um, and improve in their historical thinking skills throughout the semesters. So from first semester, I have Chase Adams, Tate Adams, Ronald Ichivera, Addison Campbell, Mayona Webb, uh, Michaela Murdoch, and Maddie Halp. And I'd also like to give a shout out to the student council members um, who came to numerous meetings, put together the movie bash, and helped out with homecoming. Um, so a big thank you to Hannah Halp, our president, Brandon Koopman, our vice president, our secretary, Dawson Harris, <clears throat> our junior representative, Talia Parker, and our sophomore representative, um, Tara Murphy. Thank you guys for a great semester and I can't wait to see you all next year. Say bye. Hello again, and I'm back to close out our ceremony for the day and to present our Eagles of the Year Award. This will be our last award for the day. And let me discuss what the Eagle Award is all about. We use this award to recognize two students each year, and it's based on academic success and diligence. It's also based on extracurricular activities and leadership and attitude. We want to recognize students who demonstrate a good attitude. I'd like to talk about the students who have won the award in the past. Uh, the first year, it was awarded to Michaela Joyce and Ian Hoots. The second year, it was awarded to Hannah Happ and to Daniel Sowers. Thanks to those of you who have been awarded the Eagle Award in the past for being good students. And today, we would like to recognize two additional students to join your company. This year's 2020 Eagle Award recipients are Carly Gray and Eric Benitez Abanza. Congratulations, and let me celebrate. Thank you. Thank you for what you have brought to our school and for the role model that you have been for faculty and for students. We appreciate you. Well, this concludes our 2020 ASEC Awards Day. We're glad you joined to watch this. We appreciate your support. We look forward to a new school year opening in August of 2020, and we look forward to having you back on campus. Thank you.